Hi guys, I got a request to show how to do the corkscrew stitch, um, kind of like the one I had in my Boondoggle collection video. The one that alternates, you see where it switches sides, about right here. And what I did to achieve that, all I did was do one super brick stitch. So you can play around with doing that, um, just switch it up, zigzag or whatever. You know, there's possibilities, a lot of possibilities on what to do when you do this. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to do the actual corkscrew stitch. And what you're going to need, you're going to need four pieces of gimp, any colors you want. Guesstimate the length of how long you would want your keychain to be. Um, I'm going to need to know basically how to do a super brick start it off. So I have my four pieces of gimp here and I chose tricolor. I have orange, turquoise, and white in this. And so what you're going to do, you're going to find the centers of each one of your pieces of boondoggle. And three are going to go on your fingers. So you take, take three off and put your last piece to the side somewhere. Okay? So what you're going to do, make sure it's even because you don't want, you know, a lot of, a lot of string being wasted. So, okay. So you're going to put it on your finger like so and wrap it around once. You should have something kind of like this. Get another piece and do the same thing. Wrap it around once in the same direction as you did the other one. These look kind of zigzag because the way I'm holding it, they're straight. I, I, I promise. And then you're going to get your last one. And you're going to go around once more, same direction. So you should have something like this. You can straighten them out. It's just the way I'm holding it. Okay. So now what you're going to do, you're going to get your last piece of gimp. And you're going to go under all the pieces of gimp that are on your finger. Just go under all of them. And pull it out till you get to the center. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what you have. And let me fix my strings. Okay. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start to weave them over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, so you're going to want to start doing it until you end it on the closed side. So I'm going to take the string that's to my left. And then I'm going to go, sorry if you can't see it, but I'm going over, then under. Then over again, under again. If you need to, fix your strings then over, then under again. Then pull it through. So you should have something like like this. And you're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. The exact same thing. Over, under, over, under. Okay. So, over, under. 
over then under again then you're gonna do the last one Ooh, okay then over under pause it so you can see kind of what's going on then you pull it out pull, well, pull it straight so you should have maybe like an S kind of thing going on make sure all of your gimp is going in the right direction just just check over and make sure you have all your gimp going over and under the right strings okay so I'm ready to take my piece off slowly take it off your finger like this and what I do I get three on each side and I just start to pull them together just fix it um, you should start to have you know stu you should start to be forming your super brick and just keep doing it until you have it at a good tightness and there we go that's our starter for our corkscrew I'll be back with the second half to show you how to do some stitches to do your corkscrew.